Okay, in my last video, I mentioned that I had ordered some uh, gas struts. So to kind of assist with lifting this, uh, it's kind of heavy. And uh, one of my buddies over at M105 Camper suggested that I get some gas struts. I thought that was a good idea. This is what I picked up. These are Vepagoo. I think that's the brand name. I got these off of Amazon. And these are 15 inch, 15 pound, or 55 pound. And I've got two, so together that's 105 pound uh, lifting capacity. So I'm going to be installing one of these on either side. I don't believe that this uh, lift gate is uh, 105 pounds. I think it's probably more like 75 pounds. So I think that these are going to be just fine. Uh, one thing that I noticed when I opened the contents is that uh, these brackets connect here with just standard nuts. These are not lock nuts. I didn't like that. So I'm going to replace these with some lock nuts and I've already picked those up and they don't come with mounting screws either so you have to provide those as well but uh, other than that uh, I'm pretty happy with these I've actually uh, got a couple of these installed already and I can bring you over here and show you that So I've already installed one here. And you can see that uh, by the time you get up about almost halfway up, uh, it takes over and it lifts it. Now these aren't 55 pound, these are 22 and a half pound. And uh, because of that, I only need one uh, per hatch. But I'm really happy with those so far. So let me uh, go ahead and get these installed on this back gate. Okay, so uh, the instructions say that you want to come up 30% uh, from the hinge, and that's where you want to place your uh, your first mounting bracket. So these are this is 48 inches, so a third of that's going to be. Uh, 16 inches so I'm going to mark 16 inches from the back here and that's where you're going to want to install your first bracket Okay, now when installing this, there's a couple of things you need to take into consideration. You've got about, uh, about an inch and a quarter that you need to have this stick out beyond this rail right here. Because when it comes down, you don't want it hitting that rail. So that means you're going to have to mount it with enough clearance. So keep that in mind uh, when you're, uh, let's see if I can get a better look at that. Yeah, so you're going to want to mount this far enough away from the edge that you can get clearance when it closes. Okay, I'm using some some pretty beefy uh, screws. So I don't want this to split the uh, plywood, so I'm going to pre-drill that. And I've got uh, my drill bit marked so that I don't uh, come through the top. It 
it's easier to install the brackets before you install the strut. And another thing you're going to want to do, um, if you look at the size of those holes, you're going to want to use a washer. Alright, the next thing that you want to consider when you're mounting this into the bracket, and this is fully extended, so once you've got the top mounted, you just need to get this in place and mount it, you know, where you're going to place it. And I've already marked that out, um, but if you notice here that this swivels. So you want to get this flush with this nut and then mark it, mark, get it, place it where you're going to install it and mark it and then you can move this out of the way and pre-drill and go ahead and get it installed. And don't forget your washer. All right, let's uh, see how it does when I remove this uh, brace. Okay, so it looks like the one 55 pound uh, strut's not gonna be enough. I am gonna have to install a second one, which I was probably gonna do anyway. feels pretty good it feels like it's almost it almost holds it but uh, let me get that second one installed and then we'll take another look okay I've got the second one installed so let me remove this brace right here and we'll see if it stays up all right seems to stay up okay let me see how easy it is to close It seems to open by itself once I get it about halfway. So it looks like those two uh, 55 pound struts are going to be perfect for this situation. All right, I've built in a little bit of uh, security. 
So right now, this can't be lifted up. The only way to open that is to open the trunk, and the trunk does lock. And then I've got these bungee cords over here. So now, now this can be lifted up. And right about here, it starts lifting by itself. So let's back up a little bit. You can see what I've got there. It's not bad. Take a look at this one. All right, I think that's gonna be a pretty good solution. Okay, so take a little bit of a look around. You can see that um, I constructed this out of three quarter inch plywood and some one by uh, four pine. And then I covered it with um, some oil based stain and then three layers of uh, marine spar urethane and then on top of that I have a coat of resin a layer of fiberglass and then another layer of resin so I think that that's it's it's a nice hard solid surface and I think that's going to do just fine repelling water and fighting off the effects of the sun so this one should last uh, a lot longer than uh, my first one which after two years was starting to break down because of the sun. So I'm really pleased with this one. I like the way it looks. I like uh, the uh, offset of the uh, stainless steel screws that are holding the, the hinges. And then I've got these that uh, kind of cover up this crack right here. And I've got a rubber gasket underneath of that as well. You can see right here. So everything is sealed. All the cracks that could be exposed are sealed and uh, that'll keep the water from getting inside. So uh, I think that's gonna do it uh, for this week's uh, video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, you know, do all that stuff. If not, then that's fine. Um, but I do have more projects coming up, so uh, stay tuned for the next project. And uh, that's going to do it, so I'll talk to you guys later.